Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing X4 Foundations. So this game I was um, wanting to uh, make a review about it, uh, my impressions. Um, I have played other games of the X series, like uh, X3, uh, uh, Terran Conflict and Albion Prelude. And now this came out and uh, the difference uh, with uh, the other games is the, this uh, first person uh, perspective. That is, um, I find it um, very cool. So, <coughs> for me it, it seems like this is what we uh, are expecting more or less from uh, Elite Dangerous, right? If Elite Dangerous could do something like this, it would be great. Um, I can walk around the stations. Um, the stations I have found until now are not very big, but um, still the, the experience is uh, very nice. So here we are um, at some uh, factory, I think. And here we can go to different parts of this um, station and we can interact with NPCs by the way uh, this game is uh, single player so you have uh, um, a universe uh, with an economy I think uh, one of the strength of uh, the X games uh, are um, Hello. are the um, the um, economy right like the economy system you can trade and basically uh, it starts like a, a little dangerous right like you um, you choose your career uh, you can be like um, bounty hunter you can be a trader or you can be an explorer uh, a miner and so on but there's a very important difference this is my ship guys so this is the the ship i started with in this um in this game uh there are several um options to start with so this is one of them like you um i chose to be like a, an explorer but in the game you can choose whatever you want uh oh what is that guy doing is this is he getting okay <laughs> this is the first time I see I see one NPC interacting with my ship okay but he's I don't know he's cleaning <laughs> or something I don't know um, but the, the, yes the difference between this um, the X games and Elite Dangerous is that um, it turns uh, from a first person experienced uh, like Hello. you you being in a ship uh, and doing this uh, all these activities in your ship to uh, hire crew and then to uh, build bases and to manage bases and it becomes like a managing game uh, an strategy a strategy game um, you uh, start to build up an empire you uh, Start, you you can uh, command fleets and so on so this is uh, an important difference uh, because otherwise you would think oh this is uh, like a some sort of elite dangerous clone or something but it's not um, it's just that um, they um, at the, the f from the X3 uh, series it rem the UI uh, reminded me of uh, EVE Online right like you you don't feel like you're in a cockpit but more it's like more uh, a flat um, screen with uh, some UI elements <coughs> um, but now with the X4 foundations well I think they did it with other with another game of the X series that they started to include this uh, uh, first person experience that you can walk inside the ship but I think with X4 Foundation 
I don't know. I I feel like like they got it right, or 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 for me it feels um, good. So let's hop into the cockpit. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you is that I found a data vault, and one of my I found that one of the activities I enjoy um, in the tutorials was uh, to to uh, perform uh, an EVA. So in this uh, activity I'm going to engage now, uh, we we will see. I will do an EVA hopefully. So let's undock. So. Unfortunately, this is not a uh, multiplayer for, for those of you who like the multiplayer experience. Um, it's a single player, but the universe is um, quite complex. So, even though it doesn't have uh, this uh, uh, multiplayer experience, uh, you have all this uh, economy going on and also you have different factions that are uh, competing with each other and they are like um, uh, system events or world events and uh, you get to see what's what's going on and these events uh, like um, okay we we found this data vault here by the way i don't know if this is <laughs> now i'm thinking that um i don't know if this is really something i can like um just hop into an oh sorry <laughs> i well what i wanted to do was to get up Okay, but Vanguard. now what what I will do is uh, get out of uh, my space, get out with my spacesuit. And we will go to the to the data vault. It's a data vault what we are visiting here. And one thing I really enjoy about space games is this sen sensation of floating um, and moving with uh, inertia. Uh, the ship you can... Uh, there, there are several uh, modes in which you can fly the ship and one of them is this um, uh, inertia mode or um, flying without uh, flight assist it's called so one thing about the data vault if um, ah, another thing is that you we have limited oxygen so we have to we have to uh, do what we are going to do um, in, uh, in the shortest period of time. So if there is something to do here um, would be to repair some damaged um, panels. We have to look for damaged panel. I don't know if this has like this uh, scanning mode. Ah yes. We have a scanning mode. But it really feels like um, floating in space. Uh, I, I like the, the what they did here, the experience. Mm. 
There's nothing here. This could be like um, some sort of puzzle. I don't know. Like um, you have to solve some sort of puzzle in the training. What happened is that uh, you had to repair some panels that were damaged. And then there was like this, uh, like this door that uh, you could open. But I don't see anything like that here. No panels, no doors, nothing. Ah, look, there's something here. Ah, this is a panel. Bingo. Okay. So, this panel has to be repaired. It's uh, broken. So, I will get close. And I will repair it. There. It's repaired. So, now... We have to look for other panels. Yeah, and then there, there's that hatch. I think we will have to return to the to the ship soon because I'm running out of oxygen. This thing is huge. It's hard to explore it. Okay, let's return to the ship to get more. Ah, here's another one. Look, another panel. I think we should return to the ship and get some more oxygen. Okay, another panel repaired. I don't know how many uh, of these panels should we repair. Uh, there seems to be something. Nothing here. Let's stop. Ah, uh, there, there seems to be another panel here. But I'm running out of oxygen. I think I will repair this one and we return to the ship. Pressure leak.
Let's go back to the ship. Where is our ship? There is our ship. So as you can see, it's um, it's a time-consuming process to check out for all the the things. But I think uh, what what this um, vault contains is some data. Uh, I'm not sure what would. I don't know. In fact, what what would you do with that data? Maybe you can sell it. I don't know. But we need more oxygen. So now I have to dock. I think he, he didn't understand. Ah, oh, no, no, it's not that. Docking granted. There. I was pressing the wrong. I don't know if this um, scanning mode helps me because I'm not do I'm not um, detecting anything with it. Okay, so you can see like this um, holographic um, representation of uh, what I should do to dock with the ship. So I think there. Maybe there's a. Uh, maybe we should get um, closer. We should get closer and see if we can find further panels. So let's see, I think we, we were in the other side already. This one side. It goes too fast. Okay. Result. We will be scanning your inventory. Yes, scan whatever. Well, you have also this... Um, like patrols that were that will scan you from time to time to check if you have uh, some illegal stuff okay so what are we missing still of this structure let's um Okay, so this is what we want, right? In Elite Dangerous. Space legs. Uh, but this Odyssey, I heard that the this Odyssey, as far as I know, uh, won't have this um, possibility to... 
to walk inside your ship. So that's a pity. Okay, so there's nothing here. And look, here, we found it, another, another panel, yeah, this is the other set of panels I was looking for. So, and I don't know, uh, I think this is this is uh this uh, space legs that, like the possibility to to walk on your ship inside your ship and in the stations because this is another thing that i think the odyssey um, expansion won't have um will be at some point implemented I mean, it's not entirely out of uh, scope or out of uh, consideration, but uh, it won't be uh, available for the Odyssey release at the beginning of the of next year. So here's another panel, guys. So this is what we're looking for. Pressure. Pressure leak detected. Another pressure leak detected. Run repaired. Okay, and then there's another panel. Right beside this one, oh, there's something there. Look, oh, that's great. Was this uh, something that opened? I don't have any idea. Container. We took the container. Programmable field array. Okay. So we already have some loot. And that's good. Because otherwise, this um, all this activity doesn't pay off. Let's see if we can find something else. So I didn't quite expect this kind of activity to... Um, this kind of activity in this game and this looks like a hatch right this looks like a hatch I wonder how we could open it yeah we um I didn't expect this kind of activity, but it's it's um, as I said, it's one of my favorites. 
I think um, yeah maybe all other games should have something like this it would be great to, to have it in elite okay this is another hatch Ah, there. Another panel. Another pressure leak. And I hear like this, um, I don't know, um, counter, Geiger counter. Ah, but yes, it's, um, it triggers these openings, right? This was one of the... This was one of the hatch that... Um, that was closed. Container. Another container, and I think we have to repair the, this other uh, object there. Illegal items can be sold in the black market. Okay, great. Now this is an illegal. Takes missions to find black market trader. Okay, the problem is... There. So what does that mean? I repair that other thing, but... I'm not sure what... And this one is closed still? I think we don't have yet the everything. But we have some loot. Black market. I don't know how we are going to get to the black mark. Ah, well, it says that we have to take some missions. Discoverer, Vanguard. Um, but I think for now I will drop this. So this is in the inventory. Uh huh. Ah, these things, right? Losing no. Security slicer. 
Crown Crystals. Wow, so it's, it's worth 8,000. Uh, oh, well, and the security slicer is worth 159,000 credits. That's a lot of money. But what I fear, and look, the, the programmable field array is worth 141,000. But for now I will drop them, because otherwise we could get in trouble uh, with this security until I uh, I figure out where the black market is. Um, I won't have these things with me. Okay, but I think that's everything. That's everything. So this uh, is one of the activities you can uh, perform in the game. You have uh, these um, like abandoned structures that you have to repair and uh, yeah, and you find loot inside. And I have to say that it's um, it's a quite profitable activity. So here we are back in our ship. So, we will leave it here, guys. I hope you like the game. Um, I uh, will be probably doing more of this. And hope to see you in the next video. This is Cyber Settler, signing off.